Hi everyone, it's Alex the Booktuber at it again with another video. So for tonight, we are going to be doing a book ranking on one of my favorite book franchises of all time, Harry Potter. I hope you all enjoy it and let's dive into tonight's video, so stay tuned. The first book at 7th place will be Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I'm going to say this is kind of like my least favorite. But I did I do think the intro was actually pretty good. And there were a lot of cool stuff about the book that I did enjoy. Like we got to meet Harry for the first time. And when he was a year old. His parents were brutally murdered by this dark wizard called Lord Voldemort, a.k.a. You-Know-Who, and a.k.a. He Who Shall Not Be Named. And then Harry goes on to live with his mean relatives, the Dursleys, which are his Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and Cousin Dudley. And I could not stand those folks. And they are mean to the bone. And they... They even made Harry sleep under the cupboard beneath the stairs. And to me, I think that's kind of cruel and unusual. And if you guys think living underneath a, underneath a cupboard beneath the stairs or in a closet is bad enough, then go, then go smash that like button if you think that we should end this kind of cruelty. If so, that would be awesome. And after Harry turns 11 on his birthday... He goes to Hogwarts, and that's where he meets his best, his two best friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. And then we also meet Rubius Hagrid, Professor Albus Dumbledore, Professor Minerva McGonagall, Professor Severus Snape, and, and a lot and a lot of other professors at Hogwarts. And and I and I do think it's kind of fun that the the kids at eleven can be there can be first years at Hogwarts and it'd be a fun place to go on adventures. And if you guys think Hogwarts would be a great school for you, then go smash that like button if you think Hogwarts is the best school for you. And I would personally love to go to Hogwarts, and I and I think I would definitely be sorted into Gryffindor, like Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And along the way, they, they do encounter some bullies in school, like some of the kids from Slytherin, like Draco Malfoy, Vincent Crabbe, and Gregory Goyle, and I could not stand those guys. And those those three were jerks. And. Even 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 magic magic schools have bullies too. And I'm against bullying. And 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 the kids all learn really cool stuff. Like Defense Against the Dark Guards, Potions, Charms, Transfiguration. Broom, broomstick riding lessons, and they have a team for Quidditch, like against all the houses like Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. And let's move on to the next book. For sixth place is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And I gotta say, this was a little better than, than book one, and Harry turns 12 years old. And then and then that's where we meet Dobby, the house elf, and I personally thought he was such an adorable little elf. If you guys thought if you guys loved Dobby in the first in the second book, then go smash that like button if you like house elves. And Along the way, Harry learns is that there's this dark plot going on at Hogwarts. Like, if he goes back with his friends, and then later that night, 
the Weasley brothers, Ron, Fred, and George break Harry free from the Dursley's house in the middle of the night just because the Dursleys put bars on his bedroom window. And then they escape and head to the borough where the Weasleys all live. And then they travel to this place called Diagon Alley by flu powder in the fireplace. And they go, they go, they go shopping for school supplies. And then they go to this, this really cool store called Flourish and Blot. And that's where they meet Gilderoy Lockhart. Ugh. And I could not stand that poser. And Lockhart was just kind of a show-off, in my opinion. And I understand that you guys have your own opinions about Gilderoy Lockhart. And that's fine with me, too. And then... Everyone reunites at Hogwarts. And then... And then all these weird, strange things start happening. Like, some people start getting petrified by an unknown force within the, within the grounds. And then we learn the history of Hogwarts and that it's been around for over a thousand years. And it was founded by the four fo original founders of the age, like Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. But three of the founders coexisted quite tremendously, but one did not, which was Salazar Slytherin. And Sl but Salazar Slytherin believed that that only magical students are to be within admitted to Hogwarts. And he believed magic to be within good families, which are pure bloods. But he decided to leave the school. And just before he left, he created a chamber, which is now going to be called the Chamber of Secrets. And then he sealed it. Until that time, his own true heir would return to, to the school. And then we also learned was that there is a there is a creature that lives within the Chamber of Secrets, and that only the heir of Slytherin can control it, and it is said to be the home of a monster. And then later on, we found out is that Harry and Ron come across Tom Riddle's diary in the girls' bathroom, which the ghost of this girl, Moni Myrtle, accidentally floods, and. And Harry goes inside the diary and then sees a memory from Tom Riddle. And and learns that Hagrid was accused of opening the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Which I think was a total lie. And I think Hagrid was innocent. And if you guys think Hagrid did not open the Chamber of Secrets and is innocent, then go smash that like button if you believe Hagrid's story. And then... And then more people start getting petrified, which which includes Hermione Granger. And then Harry and Ron meet Hagrid's old spider, Aragog, who lives in the Forbidden Forest. And we learn was that he has so many, 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 many children. And that spider was the size of an elephant. I mean, oh my goodness. And and technically, I'm not afraid of spiders. And I do, I do, I do understand that m most people are afraid of spiders, but I think they're just misunderstood creatures. And... And Harry also learns that, learns was that the girl who died in the bathroom 50 years ago was actually moaning Myrtle. And then he and Ron go into the Chamber of Secrets to rescue Ron's little sister, Ginny. And then Harry meets Tom Riddle, a.k.a. the future Lord Voldemort. And Tom Riddle was Lord Voldemort's real name from when he was a, when he was a, when he was human. 
and the and the monster that lived inside the chamber of the cigarettes was a basilisk. And a basilisk is basically the king of all serpents, and it's a giant snake. So, with that out of the way, let's move on to the next book. And it's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for fifth place. I'm And I'm going to say this was even better than the second book. Harry turns 13 in this book. And we also meet Marge Dursley, who is the sister of Harry's uncle, Vernon Dursley. But with Marge, she was mean. Like the meanest of all the Dursleys. And then... I like the part where Harry inflated Aunt Marge for insulting Harry's dead parents, James and Lily Potter, which I think Marge was a little out of line, and she is just horrible. And even her dog, Ripper, was vicious. Ugh. And if you guys think Marge deserved to get inflated like a balloon, then go smash that like button if you think she deserved karma. If so then you're all amazing. And Harry and his friends all return to Hogwarts, and, and along the way through the Hogwarts Express, which is the train on how they get to school, and all of a sudden, this dark creature called a Dementor starts searching through the train, and, and Harry also lear learns was that there's this prisoner named Sirius Black who escaped from Azkaban, which is a wizarding prison for, for bad witches and wizards. And Dementors also are the guards of Azkaban. And then... They also do learn a lot of new stuff. Like... They learn about magical creatures with Hagrid, and we also meet Prof Professor Trelawney, which is who is a little eccentric, by the way. And I also like the like the the one part where Buckbeak, the Hippogriff, attacks Malfoy when he insults him, and Hippogriffs are easily offended, and you do not want to insult it. And I think Malfoy deserved a little bit of karma, too, as well, for scaring that that poor creature. And if you think Hippogriffs are m magnificent animals of the Wizarding World, then go smash that like button if you love Hippogriffs. And I would love to ride on one, like, to school or in the sky. As much as a broomstick. And then we also meet Remus Lupin, who is the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. And then we meet this another villain named Peter Pettigrew, aka Wormtail. And and with and with that being well said, let's move on to the next book for fourth place. And it's going to be Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And Harry turns 17 in the, in the last book. And, and, and I learned was that when Harry turns 17, he loses the trace. He'll have like the trace on him, like with Lord Voldemort and his Death Eaters, like, they, like, they could go after him. And then... Harry and his friends get him out from the Dursley house, like, for good. After the Dursleys move away. Because it's not safe for them in the Muggle world anymore. With Voldemort's Death Eaters on the loose. And I also learned was that... Aunt Petunia is actually... Harry's mother's sister. And that the Potters used to live in Godric, Godric's Hollow before they were murdered by the Dark Lord. And then, Harry and his friends leave the house, but the, but trouble does follow them. And, and some people actually die in the book, like Mad-Eye Moody, 
even Harry's owl head wig, which I think was kind of cruel and, and sad. And if you guys think animal cruelty has to be stopped for good, then go smash that like button if you believe in animal rescuing and keeping them safe. And then Harry, Ron, and Hermione go on this quest to destroy the Horcruxes, which are the keys to Lord Voldemort's immortality and power. And for example, a Horcrux could be anything within with dark magic inside of it. And, and Harry also comes face to face with Lord Voldemort at Hogwarts. And if you guys think Harry can defeat Lord Voldemort, then go smash that like button if you think Harry will save the day. And also, Lord Voldemort's followers and minions do attack Hogwarts during that war. And and some people actually do die in, in, in the story, like Remus, Tonks, Fred Weasley, Colin Creevy, and so many others that can that can possibly die, and even Professor Snape dies, and a bunch of other de and some Death Eaters do die in the book too, and. That's all I have to say for book seven. It's time to move on. For third place, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And I thought this was really good. And Harry turns 16 in this book. And we also meet this new potions teacher named Professor Horace Slughorn. And... Harry's relatives get to meet Professor Dumbledore for the first time due to total shock. And he, and he tells the Dursleys is that when Harry turns 17, he'll be able to move out from the Dursleys' house like for good in the Wizarding World. And along the way, Harry goes to reunite with his friends. Ron, Hermione, Ginny, Fred, and George at the burrow. And things are starting to get really dangerous in both the Muggle world and the Wizarding world. With Voldemort's Death Eaters on the loose. And we also get we also meet Draco Malfoy's mother, Narcissa. And she is also the sister of Bellatrix Lestrange. And they're both followers of Lord Voldemort, too. And even Draco is now a new Death Eater. With, with his father, Lucius Malfoy, now in prison. And, and Dumbledore is at his final moment, too, as well. And along the way, there's also teenage drama going on and romance in the story. Like, Ron gets romantically pursued by this girl, Lavender Brown. Ugh! And she would call him Wad Wad. Oh my god, that was so annoying. Ugh! I cannot stand that girl at all. And. And I also found out is that Harry and Ginny also fall in love in the book later on in the story. And if you guys ship Ginny and Harry as a couple, then go smash that like button if you think if you think they'll be a great couple. And Hermione also had feelings for Ron too as well without realizing it. And I also ship her and Ron together as a couple. And we also find out that Professor Dumbledore does die in the sixth book. And I personally found that really heartbreaking. 
Now I'm going to move on. And there's only two more books left to go. For second place, it's going to be Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And before I get into that, I'm going to say that if my mother was reading Half-Blood Prince, I think she would personally love that because the sixth movie was actually her favorite. And as I was saying, in book four, Harry turns 14 years old. And we also find out is that Harry go, tries to go to this Quidditch World Cup with, with the Weasleys, and and the only problem, the only obstacle is that they have to help Harry escape from the Weasleys. And Fred and George do play this one prank on Dudley, where they give him this snack, and then where it makes his tongue like un abnormally huge. And I think that was really funny. And then they go to the they go to the Quidditch World Cup. And then all of a sudden, chaos does happen at the ma at the match, and and it's caused by a bunch of people in masks who are called Death Eaters, and they're followers of the Dark Lord. And Harry also has these nightmares about Lord Voldemort's upcoming return. And then I also learned was that Hogwarts did start hosting the Triwizard Cup and then they have the Goblet of Fire and for the rules of the tournament is that there it's supposed to be for three schools like Hogwarts, Bo Battens, and Durmstrang. And and students had to be had to be at the age of 17. And then and if they're chosen, if their name gets chosen within a parchment of a piece of from paper there's no turning back, and people die in this tournament. And there is no going back when your name is chosen. And, for example, the first task involved dragons, and then you have to, and they, and they, and they give you each a golden egg to protect. And I would probably love to fight, fight off a dragon. And protect get a protect the golden egg. And then during the second task, you have to find find a missing treasure within within the black lake. And and that lake is pretty creepy, and especially with those ugly looking mermaids. And usually I think mermaids are really beautiful, but with these mermaids in Harry Potter, they were ugly with a capital G. Like, yeah, only one. And, and and the other students that are in the tournament along with Harry, even though he was too young to be in it, the other students were Cedric Diggory, who is a seventh year Hufflepuff, and there's this girl, Fleur Delacour, who is a Bill Batten student, and Victor Crumb, who is a student from Durham Strain, and he is a awesome Quidditch player for this Quidditch team. And and the final task was the maze, which is the which I thought was the deadliest and scariest of all. And it would take forever to find the the the, the missing. Triwizard Cup, and and then all of a sudden, Harry and Cedric immediately start finding it as, as soon as they reach the end of the maze, and then they, they get teleported into this dark cemetery. And and there's also the Riddle family grave. And then all of a sudden, we get a we get a, we get a surprise from Wormtail and and a soon to be revived Lord Voldemort, and Cedric dies in the cemetery and then my heart was broken when 
when Voldemort and Wormtail used the Avada Kedavra spell on Cedric to kill him. And then Wormtail did an incantation to bring the to bring his old master back to life by getting the by getting a bone and then and then getting Harry's blood and then drifted into the cauldron and then Lord Voldemort was revived and and more powerful than he was before and it was pretty disturbing when Lord Voldemort got his own body back and Lord Voldemort is by far the most evil dark wizard in the war in the universe and now I'm going to announce the winner for the last book here it goes and now in first place by far which is my favorite and and personally of all is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and I understand that some of you guys are going to be a little disappointed because I have my own because I have my own opinion on the fifth book and and I believe that you guys do too and I'm okay with opinions and I respect that as a fellow Potterhead and I also learned was that in the fifth book Harry turns 15 years old and Harry and Dudley do get attacked by Dementor by a couple of Dementors that were accidentally released into the Muggle world. And Harry uses the Expecto Patronum spell to ward off the Dementors to protect both him and his cousin Dudley so they don't lose their souls. And then Harry gets a howler from the from the Ministry of Magic by telling him that he's expelled from Hogwarts, which I think is totally unfair. Even though he's underaged to use magic outside of Hogwarts. And then Harry gets rescued by the members of the Order of the Phoenix, which are the real Alistair Moody. Shacklebold. Remus Lupin. Sirius Black and, and Nymphadora Tonks. And they go to headquarters, which is at 12 Grimald Place, where Sirius Black lives. And it and this, and that, place, that house was originally his mother's house. And, and we also learned was that Lord Voldemort is planning to grow his army again. And not just use, with, use witches or wizards, but he also uses dark creatures too. And... And then Harry goes to this hearing at the ministry to see whether he faces charges or not. But then we also meet this nasty, nasty woman named Dolores Umbridge. Ugh, I could not stand that lady at all. And then later on, she becomes the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. And, and I think she is by far the most abusive teacher in the entire Wizarding World. And if you guys think she's not allowed to be teaching kids at all in the Wizarding World or, or at any school at all, then go smash that like button if you are against child abuse while teaching. And, and Dolores Umbridge personally really tortured Harry. And, and I thought it was just unfair. Like, I must not tell lies carved onto his arm and and I think that's just terrible. And if parents knew about that kind of stuff, the teachers like that really should be reported and fired. And and I think Umbridge really hates kids. And and I I'm glad she did get karma near the end of the story. Like she gets dragged off by centaurs. Potter, do something! Tell them I meet no harm! I'm sorry, Professor. 
I must not tell lies. What are you doing? I am the undersecretary under Cornelius Fudge. Dolores Jane Umbridge, let me go! And I'm glad she got carried off by centaurs, and she calls them filthy half-breeds, which I think is just rude. And I think she's abusive towards animals just as much as she is to kids. And we also we also meet Luna Lovegood in the story. And she's, like, very different from all the other students at Hogwarts. Like, she's very eccentric, and she has her own perspective on the wizarding world. And then we also meet these new creatures called Thestrals. And I think they're very different, too, from all the other creatures in the wizarding world. And Thestrals can only be seen by people who have seen death. And... And I also found out was that Harry, that Harry's best friends, Ron and Hermione, become prefects for Gryffindor. Ernie and Hannah become prefects for Hufflepuff. Draco Malfoy and this girl Pansy Parkinson become prefects for Slytherin House. And and this one boy Terry and one of the and one of the Patel twins become prefects for Ravenclaw. And and that's all for that's all for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed my new book ranking video. So please don't forget to go like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications for when I do my next video for you all in the future. I hope you all have a good night. And I love all all of my fellow bookworms, book lovers, and book of the galaxy so much. Good night and peace out.